Hi, today's tutorial is how to fix file permissions on the Mac uh, with any files that might come up where you don't have permission to view it or open it. There's several different ways that you can do it. The most common way is this way. So obviously uh, if you have a file such as this one and you double click on it and you get an error message uh, related to file permissions, the first thing you should always try is click on the file, uh, select command and the I key on your keyboard, go down to the lock over here, click on it, put in your admin password and username, and at this point you'll see these pull downs are active. Click read write for everyone and close it. And at that point it should work, but as you can see in this particular file it still doesn't work. Normally most uh, Mac people who know the terminal could go into the terminal and fix the file, but it's very cumbersome and it's not as easy if you're not familiar with it. So I have a little trick that I use all the time that's much faster than using the terminal and works even for files like these. So basically you go to this website. It is logginsoft.com and go down and you will see that there is an application called BatchMod. Um, I'm downloading 1.63, there's a beta version, and there's ones for each kind that you have. I've used these for years, and I think it's a great application. I highly recommend it. Um, once you download it, you will have an application that looks like this. It'll be in your downloads folder. No need to install, it's just the way it is. I usually leave it on my desktop, and again, as you can see, no access. I'm going to take the image or the file, and it could be a file or an image, it doesn't matter, drop it on the batch mod icon, and I can see that the owner is the root, and the staff and everyone else doesn't really have privileges to it, so I'm going to check all the boxes, you have to click twice, and then I'm going to hit this apply button, and it's going to ask me for my username, admin, and password, I'm going to put that in, and once I do it, it'll say done. You hit OK. Quit out of the batch mod application. And let's try to open up the file and see what happens. And voila! Your file opens without a permission issue. This also works in reverse. If let's say you don't want people to open up your files and you want to save their permissions so that only you have access to it if you're on a computer with multiple people, you can select the file, go into batch mod, and uncheck everybody, for example here, and only select your username over here. So the ones that are up here are usually what your user accounts are, so you can select just that one and say only if that person is logged in will it work. So that's pretty much how you use it. It's very simple, works beautifully, and again you just click each of these boxes, double click on them, don't forget to hit apply, if you forget to hit apply, uh, it will not work. And here we go. I'm going to quit out of that. And as you can see, the file opens beautifully. So hope that taught you a little quick lesson for Max. And uh, enjoy and get those files open. Thanks for listening.